Welcome back to Golden Sun, The Lost Age. We are here in, uh, Gibom uh, Kabamba, Kabamba to, uh, uh, find Akafuba and meet up with, and I guess we're gonna head ahead to the Great Kabamba statue because I have, I have heard of this thing, so I'm, I know we're gonna go, we're gonna go to it, but it's interesting. Okay, so what are we doing here now? Oh, there we go. That was easy. So we had to we literally had to climb up the posts. Well jump along them anyway. Oh, I can that doesn't do anything now. Oh oh my, I heard of stories like these. Foreign Ds are so frightening. Hmm? Welcome on, weary travelers. What aid do you seek? I wonder if a man in my position should really be in a place like this. He who is the witch doctor of Kababo holds the most revered office in our whole town. If only Oe had taught his magic to someone else. If he had another people, this would be more easy go more easy on poor Akafuba. He would not be alone. He travels to Madra, returns to the stolen gem, and now he expects us to call him a hero. You're kidding! So in order to get there, you need peers. So how did I miss peers? Is he in the... So I'm not sure what happened there, but I cannot find anything, so... Oh! That's it. You can't even get down there anyway. At last, the sacred night has come! Tonight, Akafu becomes the Kabamo's new witch doctor. All of you, pray in the depths of your hearts for my success. It looks like the inundation ceremony is beginning. I'm not sure what happened, but we better hurry, Felix. Well, who are you? What are your intentions? Looks like Pierce has already forgotten us, huh? I know, we must. We met Pierce when he was in jail, and it's not like he had lots of visitors either. Wait a second, I know you. You're the travelers who came seeking me while I was in jail. So you do remember. What are you doing in this place? Actually, that's what we came, wanted to ask you. We were worried about you, Pierce, so we follow you here. And that's what brings you into this dangerous place. What's that supposed to mean? We came here to help you, Piers. Why are you being why are you being like that about it? Tell me ex something. Exactly when did I ask for your help? Silence. I shall present our jewel to Great Gabamba. He's got Oh Great Gabamba, please accept this, our humble gift. Yep, they're adepts. Please, Drakabamba, accept this jewel. Look, Drakabamba is no slay of the jewel. Why, Drakabamba? Your prayers are weak. Open your hearts to Great Kabamba. Sing your praises and dances to the Great Kabamba until your prayers reach his ears. Akafu was no witch doctor. He is an adept. I made to confirm him to get my orb back. I made to fight. I will do whatever it takes, but I will have my black orb back again. It's no use, we can't get to Akfuba from here. 
This won't work either. What are we gonna do? We can't get over there. Pierce is in trouble. Should we try to help him? Maybe if we get just over that stump, we can reach the backside of Gobamba. We gotta help Pierce, right, Felix? Then hop to it. Huh? That power, was that synergy? I knew it. I should have spotted it once. You're adepts. Wait, so has it been your? Yes, my name is Piers. I am, I am, and I too am an adept. To be honest, everyone in Lemuria is an adept, and just, not just me. What's Lemuria? Lemuria is an island that lies in the center of the Eastern Sea. Wait a second, you said Lemuria? I've heard that name before. Of course, it was Lord Bobby. He often spoke to me of Lemuria. He said it was so advanced that we could scarcely believe to imagine what must have been like. You are correct. My home was, and is all that you say. Whoever told you this knows much of Lemuria. But wait, if it's so far away in the middle of the ocean, how come anyone knows so much about it? It's not easily reached, and we Lemurians seldom leave. I can't imagine how anyone could have learned anything at all about us. Except, hold on a moment, Bobby. I've heard that name somewhere before. Well, yeah, everyone knows about Lord Bobby. He's the ruler of Toby. I've never heard of Toby until recently. I heard I never heard of Toby until recently. I never left my home of Lemuria. Piers, are you just playing with games with us? Don't be foolish. What would I gain from lying to you? I'm being quite serious. Piers not playing games, Jenna. You can trust him. Thank you for believing, Master Sage. Please call me Creighton, Piers of Lemuria. I am the one you should be thanking. I should be thanking you. You look puzzled, Felix. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. I thought as much. If what Bobby told me is true, Lemuria is all that remains of what once great civilization. Your friend is correct. In fact, the reason I was sent to Vale was somewhat, somewhat related to, to my inability to find Lemuria itself. I don't understand. What was in Vale that had anything to do with Lemuria? Bobby believed that, in Lemuria alone, the power of alchemy remains unbound. Lord Bobby had need of Lemuria's alchemy, but despite our effort, we could not find the lost city. So we could not find Lemuria, Lord Bobby sent me to unlock the secrets of alchemy itself. Ah, yes, Bobby. If I recall quickly, a man named Bobby came to Lemuria long ago. He stole one of our ships and fled the isle. Yes, that must indeed be the same Lord Bobby who knows who no leads, who now leads the people of Toby. Now I'm even more confused. This is gonna make my head hurt. I mean, if Bobby really stole a ship from your home, why would he be trying so hard to find it again? I can't expect you to understand, my dear. Lord Bobby's reasons for finding Lemuria are complex. But if he already found Lemuria once, why does he just go back the same way? Once you leave, have left Lemuria, finding it is quite difficult, even if you know where to look. But why? The waters around Lemuria are wrapped in a perpetual fog. It is very difficult to navigate. I remember Lord Bobby once saying something that to that effect. Even if one reaches, locates Lemuria, getting through the fog itself remains quite a challenge. I don't get it. Why can't you just sail through it? The ocean currents around Lemuria are swift and treacherous. Only one who can sail a Lemurian ship can complete the journey. But Bobby stole a Lemurian ship from you, right? That means he can sail it. You say yourself that you used, to flee, you used it to flee the island. Unfortunately, Bobby was only one of us who could use a ship. Was the only one of us who could use a ship. You see, Lemurian ships can only be held by adepts. Which is why I have to get my black ore back. I must be able to cap my ship. There may be something up ahead the, on this path. Then let's go. Wait a moment, Piers. We want to help you get your ore back. You intend to help me, Creighton. I'm on this quest for my many reasons. One of them being that I wish to see Lemuria. If you allow me, that is, I'd like to visit Lemuria myself. If this is something you would do for Bobby, then I can't permit it. What? Why not? Bobby's a thief. He is not well loved in Lemuria. It is partially on behalf of Bobby, but there's more truth than that. I want to go to Lemuria so I can see the full power of alchemy. I want to aid Piers so that he will take us to Lemuria. What do you say, Felix? You'll do it? Splendid. I appreciate your offer, but... I understand, Piers. You aren't sure if you'll be able to take us to Lemuria, is that it? Can we talk about this later? Yes, yes, of course. For now, let's just get that ore back for Piers. 
Piers joins the party. Okay, what has he got for equipped? A bow mace. Oh, finally got some got a new character to, to paw my items off onto. I have five Mercury Gin. Is there any reason to, to give that to him? Froth. Ooh, I like that. It gives you both growth and... What if I remove the trans whip? So they both have ply. She's the one that doesn't have any at that point because she's but she's got whirlwind and I need whirl I've been using whirlwind a lot more in this game, so I think I'll keep this. So I'm gonna give most of my healing items to her. She got raises wind power. She probably needs that more than anyone. Let's get the peers. You keep that for your wind power. Okay, now we can move on. This would be weird because I haven't used- I only just got Piers, I've never used him before, so we're gonna see where, why, how he's good he is, but... Uh, Scoop Gem? Jeez! Oh, reveal. No? Well, if that's not revealed, what is it? Oh, you can't go through there. Gabamba statue? Okay, I was expecting a full dungeon here. I, I guess <laughs> we're going to be uh, pausing it for this moment, and we're going to continue this in the next episode of Golden Sun The Lost Age. Until then, this is Jane Raymond, signing out.